Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Say to your neighbor, good morning. Win today. Win tomorrow. And win forever. Hallelujah. When God Almighty is involved in your matter, it does not matter who else is involved. Say to your neighbor, God Almighty is involved in my matter. Say it again, God Almighty is involved in my matter. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, so therefore, I will fear no evil. So therefore, no shaking. Hallelujah. We'll be seated in His presence in Jesus' name. Evangelist Opemi Ade now thriving high into the prophetic office. Let's hear his message. It is time for God's word. Are you ready? Quickly, let's open our Bibles. Just a quick one. To the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Are you there? Chapter 2. Habakkuk. Chapter 2. Before then, if we may ask you, Child of God, what are you doing? Where are you going to? What is guiding you? What motivates you? What motivates you? What is the state of your mind? Is the state of your mind becoming a visible reality? What is going through your mind? Hallelujah. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2. We'll read verse 2. Are you there? Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets, that he may run who reads it. Hmm. That he may run who reads it. So this message is titled Vision Minded. Tell me Vision Minded. Are you vision minded? Are you a man or woman of vision? What is your vision? What is your vision saying? When we say vision, what do we really mean? What do we really mean? Vision is not necessarily a trance or a supernatural experience of the invisible world, but a photographic picture of the future you desire and see in your heart that produces or propels you to action. Do you have a vision? If yes, what are you doing about it? What have you done to make it happen? Actually, but do you have a vision? If yes, what are you doing about it? And what have you done to make it happen? Listen, people of God. Vision without plan 
or strategy and execution is a mere wishful thinking. I mean, it is daydream, an illusion, delusion, fantasy. Vision without what? Plan, strategy, and execution is a mere wishful thinking. I mean, it is what? Fantasy, illusion, delusion. When your vision is from God, there will be a strong desire to make it happen. The question is, is your vision from God? It is not a mere wishful thinking that brings your vision to accomplishment, that brings your vision to pass, but a rightful focus. And as Christians, our vision should be our focus. A man of vision or a woman of vision is a woman or a man of focus. And a man without focus is a man without direction. Meaning, if you don't have a vision, you cannot be focused on a direction. What is your focus? What is your vision? Remember, your focus is your personal responsibility. You determine your focus. Is your personal decision you determine it when you are focused on your vision when you are vision minded you will mind the company you keep yes you do what you mind the company you keep who are your friends who are the people you are surrounded with are they men and women of vision? Don't forget, it takes a man of vision to recognize another man of vision. Mm. My mother and the Lord, Pastor Mabel, just said, and I quote, it takes vision to sight vision. Who are your friends? Who are you surrounded with? Mediocres? Visionless people? Your company speaks of you. The company you keep speaks of what? It speaks of you. Vision helps us to know who to make as a friend. Oh Lord. Vision helps us to know who to make or take as a partner, as a colleague, as a companion. Who are your friends? Vision influences our decision making. It influences our choices. Oh, thank you, Lord. Vision produces discipline. And this discipline produces the essential character to make that vision happen. What are these characters? Temperance. Oh, thank you, Lord. Humility. Endurance. Patience. Forbearance. Modesty. Just name them. If you don't have all this, I doubt if you are a man or a woman of vision. Glory be to God, our leader is the woman of vision. She possesses all this. Because, take it of something, a man of vision is a man of faith. Because they are always driven by Christ's spirit of hope for a better future. If you are here, you are a man or woman of vision. There is a better future that awaits you and it will happen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. your tomorrow will be greater than your today. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus. A vision minded man oppressing does not run because he sees others running. He runs when the vision says run. A vision minded person, thank you Lord, does not get married because he sees others getting married. He gets married when the vision says what? Marry. A vision minded person does not sleep because he or she sees others sleeping. <laughs> oh God, prophet TB Joshua. He sleeps because vision says what? Sleep. A vision minded. They don't compare themselves to others. God's time is their time, and their time is God's time. No! No amount of opposition or obstruction can change their minds. They even love opposition. Because opposition makes them to do what? To discover and develop better strategies and tactics to further their cause in the midst of their enemies. Many shouted, she can't do it. Today she's doing it. Baba God is backing our position to make things happen. Ah, mommy. <laughs> Vision minded people, no matter what may constitute the obstacle on their way, they can never be stopped. Vision is very strong. Not disappointment, discouragement, name calling, campaign of calumny. No. No. Vision. See, with vision, there is no limit to what you can achieve. I repeat, with vision, there is no limit to what you can achieve. See, with vision, there is ability in disability. With vision, you make sense or create sense out of nonsense. With vision, your story will result to glory. With vision, thank you, Lord. You will see opportunities in difficulties. There are people that only see when you give them opportunity, they only see difficulties. Oh, I can't do it, it's not possible. But you are a man or woman with vision. They see opportunities in what? In difficulties. Their challenges are their opportunities. Why? Because challenges are part and parcel of greatness. Ah. Are you a man of vision? Get ready for greatness. Yeah. With vision, in the midst of pain and agony, you will smile because you know God Almighty is still saying something. Yeah. With vision, with vision, <laughs> vision. Oh, with vision. You will see miracles in obstacles. You will see advantage in disadvantage. With vision. You just need vision. Child of God, don't get confused. Did you once have a vision and you lost it? We are here to encourage you. All you need to do is to realign yourself to your vision. 
that your plan failed does not mean your vision has failed. A failed plan is not a failed vision. Did you fail? Get back up. Realign yourself to your vision. You were not born to be a failure. Get back up. Make it happen. Somebody is waiting for you for a lifetime. If you fail, you fail them. Your vision is connected to someone else's vision. If you fail, they will fail. Oh Lord, Father, we thank you for your words. We pray this word blesses our hearts. And help us to realign ourselves to our visions. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord.